Good morning, Mets fans, and happy Thursday. Welcome to Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and I'm coming at you today to talk about a couple of things that happened. Um, well, actually, one thing that happened yesterday, and it stems from something that happened previously, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, a comment that uh, I read uh, on one of my earlier videos, and I want to chat about that today. The news item I want to touch on is um, tying back to the, the uh, acquisition or the re-signing of uh, Jose Reyes last week. Um, I talked about the uh, the contract, and I, I still thought of, and I still think it was a smart um, a smart contract, inexpensive uh, for a guy who you know he knows the city, knows the team, knows. I think knows his role at this point in his career, um, is a leader for Ahmed Rosario in the locker room, and I, you know, again, I, I talked about all that already. The thing I didn't talk about, at least I don't think I did, I didn't really touch on the fact that in order to bring Reyes back, the Mets had to make a corresponding 40-man roster move, and that move was to designate left-handed pitcher Josh Smoker for assignment. Now, uh, on the surface... The, the decision to cut Smoker is is sort of a no-brainer. I mean, not, I shouldn't say a no-brainer, but it shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Um, Smoker did not have a great year, um, didn't didn't put up good numbers. His ERA was over five, but then again, so was every, almost everybody else's last year, um, as far as the uh, as far as the ERAs were concerned. But um, the thing that was curious about it was that Smoker was was profiling to be the second lefty out of the bullpen for the Mets. Um, the Mets cut ties with uh, Josh Edgen last year, and now they've cut ties with, or they DFA'd um, Josh Smoker. Well, yesterday, the news came out that the Mets ended up trading Smoker to the Pittsburgh Pirates for uh, left-handed pitcher Daniel Zambrano or Zamino or Zafino or something, um, and cash considerations uh, as part of that trade. Um, it, it, according to Mets blog, this this kid is a left-handed pitcher uh, from the Pirates that the Mets are getting in return for uh, Smoker, but he's not a major league level player yet. He's going to probably start the season in Double A Binghamton. So again, the Mets are left with at least what I believe to be uh, a pretty big hole in the bullpen, and that they only have one left-handed pitcher, and it's Jerry Blevins. Um, lefty specialists being what they are, and Blevins talks about wanting to be more versatile this year. Um, that's great that he's going to talk about being versatile and being used in whatever situation he needs to be used in. But if he's the only left-handed pitcher, um, <laughs> there aren't going to be many opportunities to be flexible with Blevins. He's going to be stuck facing the same guy, uh, the, the same left-handed uh, player, uh, batter, um, <laughs> All, for all these different teams, you know, Bryce Harper, Daniel Murphy, um, the Ryan Howard types. Um, of course, Ryan Howard is no longer a factor, but uh, you know what I mean. The left -handed, these left-handed uh, uh, batters, Freddie Freeman, um, th this is who Jerry Blevins is going to have to be because there's nobody else in the bullpen who's a lefty. So that's, it's a curious situation having uh, having DFA and getting uh, parting ways with Josh Smoker as I stumble over my words there. Um, but in any event, the, uh, the the thought process that Mets Twitter had come up with, and I completely agree with, was that what are you doing DFAing Smoker? His numbers being what they are, forgetting about that, he's a left-handed pitcher, and he's inexpensive, and the Mets have a slew of infield uh, infielders at the minor league level, and the name Matt Reynolds keeps coming up as the guy they should have DFA'd instead of Smoker. I can't disagree with that sentiment. It's it's the right thing to think about and to do. So, uh, so that's that. Um, Smoker's gone. Reynolds is not, and the Mets are uh, now down to a single left-handed pitcher in the bullpen. <clears throat> so the other thing I want to touch on really quickly today is uh, a comment that um, uh, Rex Nunez made on. Uh, my earlier video about the Mets bringing Reyes back, uh, and this was last week. Um, Rex is not happy about this uh, this decision. Uh, he's sort of the opposite of me as far as uh, my opinion was, um, and I respect Rex's thoughts on this. Actually, his his thoughts, although I don't agree with them, uh, his thoughts are that Reyes is 
um, is not is not the kind of guy who is part of um, a winning clubhouse. And he cites his um, his appear his his being in Toronto and on a very talented team with the Blue Jays that weren't able to win. Um, and and Rex sort of puts that at Reyes's feet or on Reyes's shoulders. Um, the, the thought process behind it is what it is, and he does talk about his age and his speed being um, non-existent um, to the point where um, Rex makes the point that, that uh, Reyes doesn't steal bases when it's meaningful. He's he's only doing it when the Mets are up big or losing big. Um, his defense is, is not as good as it used to be, and he's not wrong on a lot of those points. But I have to disagree about his clubhouse presence. Um, th there's something to be said for a guy who's loose in the clubhouse and who's who's a, a spark plug in the clubhouse. And Reyes is both of those things. And I don't agree with the notion that he, he can't be part of a winning clubhouse. Let's not forget, um, Reyes was on the Mets in 2016 when they somehow managed to put together a, a, a run at the end of the season to get in the, to the, the wild card game of the 2016 playoffs. Uh, Jose Reyes was also on the 2006 Mets, who um, got here Molina. <clears throat> Won't say anything else. But Reyes was on the 06 Mets. He was part of the 07 and 08 Mets. And yes, you can cite the fact that those, the, both of those seasons ended in disaster, and you'd be right. But it's not Reyes's fault. So I, I don't agree with the sentiment that Reyes is a clubhouse cancer type. Um, I think his presence there, as I just said earlier this morning, um, is going to be a positive presence for Ahmed Rosario. So that'll do it for today. Um, I appreciate uh, Rex's comments. Um, if anybody else has any thoughts or opinions on this video, please leave your comments below. Or if you'd prefer, and as I would prefer, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met and hit me up there with any questions or comments or concerns. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we are very close to spring training kicking off. We are uh, closing in on single-digit number of days to pitchers and catchers officially reporting. I can't wait. You can't wait. We all can't wait. And so I'll leave with this. Let's go Mets.